Okay, and there's our first drone. I'm going to pause this and zoom in so you can see these little babies. And this is perfect because you can see they, they come out of these, um, these chutes and then they trundle along the road. Now, as you can see, they follow the roads, but they fly above the roads. Okay. But it's not that they just fly anywhere. Um, there's only one level that they fly at. So you get the same traffic issues, or you can get the same traffic issues with, uh, with drones that you get with cars. It's just that they're on a level above the traffic. So um, what, you, what you get now is the ability to have um, sort of double-decker traffic jams, <laughs> if you have traffic problems. So let's let that run. Um, oh, I wanted to follow those drones, actually. Let's go back to the Omega map. Now, the drones... Where are they? And you've actually got a drone map, so you can see what the, what the drones are. Now, the drones have gone over here. Let's go back to the Omega map. Okay, so this building is starting to get uh, Omega drones, and it's the drones that convert a residential building to become an Omega franchise. Okay, so let's, um, let's speed this up a little bit. I'll put the drone map on so you can see. And the drones are coming up here, and they're shooting into here. And when there are enough, come on, two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. When there are enough, the building converts to an Omega Co franchise. Okay, and everything that we said about um, commercial applies to uh, residential in terms of density and everything else. Okay, now, so let's look over here at our residential, and uh, we can see that we now have one residential building, and that's just gone to two, because that one's converted, and we can see that we're now getting residential profits, and each one of these buildings uh, gives us 448 uh, per hour. Okay. Now, okay, here we go. This building has gone gold. Okay. When when these buildings get drones, the drones replace the shoppers in the building. Okay. So the drones are going to do the shopping for your shoppers. Okay. Now that that helps out with traffic because you then don't have shopper traffic. The drones are doing it for you. Okay, but how do you become a gold member? Okay, and what is a gold member and what's it all about and whatever. If your uh, buy drones are shopping at um, an Omega franchise, okay, then your building will become a gold building. And it again, I've I've seen a lot of rubbish about oh you know it has to be when the last shopper is re is, is replaced um, you have to be buying for I, I, it's nonsense right as long as they're they're shopping um, at uh, Omega Co franchise shops right these will become uh, gold members okay so so what's the whole point of um, gold membership if you have a uh, um, gold membership, your profits um, that are paid to Omega are doubled. Okay, so instead of paying uh, instead of paying 448 to Omega, they'll be paying um, whatever double that is. So like close to a thousand. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna work that out in my head. Okay, and as you can see, because we're supplying our commercial right these buildings are starting to convert more and more to gold membership okay now see if if what people said was was right about oh it has to be when the last buy bot is uh, you know 
when the last shopper's replaced with a buy bot, you've got to be doing X, Y, Z now. Yeah, then, the, then these buildings would never change, and you'll see that these buildings will become gold. Okay, so yeah, like old wives' tales, bloody fairy tales, and nonsense. Okay, so let's recap. This is the full cycle. Okay, so um, we produce the omega, supply it to the factories, the factories convert. They ship freight out um, in Omega enhanced freight that converts the commercial. The drones convert these buildings to um, to franchises, and then when the bots are see that one just turned gold. It was red and it's just turned gold. So there you go. There's the proof of that. Um, uh, so. The buy, bots, the buy bots turn, oh God, some of these words are so difficult to say. The buy bots turn these buildings into franchises. And then when they shop at Omega Franchise Commercial, they go gold. Okay, so that's the process. Now that we understand that, okay, it's time to get a lot more of this converted. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to put in... Um, five more of these robotics factories in the remaining space that we have left. Okay, so that's all six of our robotics factories in place. Let's crank that up and we'll switch to our Omega map. And as you can see, we've got 100% of industry is now converted. And now commercial, commercial is kind of interesting because what you'll see with commercial is commercial during the day will go up and down. Okay. What you need to focus on with commercial is how high it gets at the peak of the day. Okay. So... You, you're kind of not worried about how low it goes. What you're interested in is how high it goes. Because you want that to peak out at 100%. Because unless you get that to 100%, you won't convert all of your residential to gold membership. Okay? So, let's go back here so we can get a good view of what's going on. Now, as you can see, like right now, these are crying out for more processors. So hopefully, that's going to support that. That depot is going to start supplying them. Okay. Now, our other factories seem to be pretty well behaved, despite the uh, the nasty "eat your resources" bug. Okay. But um, there's one other thing that we can put in, which um, which kind of makes the whole thing not a problem at all anyway um, even if even if right like right now it was a problem you'll see that um, it absolutely wouldn't be by putting in one more building now I've already max upgraded this so uh, and we're going to take the commerce division now I hope I can put this in without losing any ah. I was hoping I could squeeze that in without losing any uh, any buildings. Yeah, I'm just going to pop it down that end there. Never mind. Lost two buildings. Damn it. Okay, so uh, what putting in that commercial, uh, that commerce uh, module does is allows us to add uh, VTOLs. Vertical takeoff or landing is what VTOL stands for, by the way, if you, just in case anybody didn't know. And what it means is you can now add these things, these global market VTOL pads. So that instead of having your, uh, your stuff delivered by truck, or should I, should, I should say, in addition to having your stuff delivered by truck, you can also have it flown in. Which, um, like, like if you do have any traffic problems or anything like that uh, in certain cities, then uh, this, is, this is kind of a, 
a really good bonus. I'm kind of interested to see why those guys aren't getting processors because they absolutely should be by now. Let's check this out and see what's going on. Now oh, they're getting there. We've got one, two, three being supplied now. Now, now one trade depot. To be honest, I, that's not really the best um, placement for that depot. Um, but even so, one one of those trade depots should easily cope with um, with six robotics factories. I'm kind, I'm kind of interesting to interested to see. There we go. I mean, it is it is catching up slowly. Like, did I put all the trucks in? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a bit slow for my liking, but um, but it's getting there. But anyway, it's not going to be an issue because we're going to put in the um, the VTOL pads. And uh, oh, here we go. Here's the. There you go. So that's just had a delivery. So that should stop. There we go. Yeah. So it's ju it's just taking time to 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 get there. Not a problem. These don't go down very fast. These guys down go down like pretty slowly. Um, so, like I said, one trade depot will will easily supply all six of those. But you know what? I don't like take, taking chances, and so I'm going to put the VTOL pads on anyway. And I will explain why, because it's um, this is kind of an important thing. Uh, like I was saying about, um, you want to oversupply, if anything, with your factories um, to Omega. But I kind of didn't really explain why. So I, I'll do that now. But, um, but let me put these in, and then I'll explain. Oh, and I should point out, these VTOL pads are cheap. They cost like 150 an hour each. So, like, it's nothing. So I just put all the VTOL pads on all of the plants. Um, now, talking about oversupply, if you fail to supply enough Omega to um, your factories, or if your factories, uh, your, your industry, fails to supply enough freight to your commerce or you fail to supply enough drones to your resident to your residentials um, they will stop being franchises they'll just go back to being an ordinary building okay and that causes deep unhappiness and you lose money and it's a bit of a nightmare so it's better to be uh, over supplying your 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 industry and oversupplying your freight uh, and oversupplying your droid your drones um, so that you just max everything out and you keep it maxed that's what we want to do that's what we want to see okay let's go back to my favorite map the Omega map and see how we're doing because we're starting to make a bit of progress So industrial is um, is still 100%. Now you'll see industrial um, go down from 100% every now and then. It's usually because there's a building which is um, changing tech or something like that. Um, but it should be like 100%, like occasionally 98, but like that should be 100% all the time now. If it's um, if it goes like below like 98% then uh, there's a problem that we need to look at, but there shouldn't be. Commercial. Um, I told you, commercial goes up and down. What I'm interested in, what I'm looking for, is how high that's getting 
when it when it gets to the to the top of its climb during the day and then residential down here um, we have 24% converted now and we have 14% gold membership so that's these gold buildings okay so the red ones and the gold ones now let's look at the profits because this is where things start to get interesting okay so um, industry industry is 39 we'll call it 40,000 okay commercial is at 60 percent and that's supply and that's providing us with profits of 30,000 so if that was at a hundred percent that would be up around 50,000 so 40,000 for industrial 50,000 for commercial maxed out at a hundred percent so they're about to be honest the same and any conversations about which is more profitable commercial or industry which should you do are kind of irrelevant because they're basically the same and they're also insignificant because let's take a look at residential residential is now at 29 it's just gone to 30 percent and residential profits 46 47 thousand okay so for round numbers call that 50,000 so if that was at a hundred percent that's a hundred and fifty thousand okay then you've got to add on the residential gold memberships which potentially doubles that so you're talking about three hundred thousand potentially so the industry and the commerce is nothing compared to the residential it's all about residential so if you see anybody having conversations about oh you know max out industry or comp or just put them straight tell them shut up it's all about the residential okay so at this point to be honest there's not really much to do um, other than like watch this turn red and then turn gold 